blind men see? Can you turn water into wine? It's only his own people who see him walk on water. Yeah, they say he calmed the storm. And they say he fed thousands of people with a few loaves of bread. It's absurd. He's a danger to the simple-minded. Is that right? Is what they're saying correct? Is it all rumour and exaggeration? Are you a magician? A charlatan? A fraud? A genius? Believe me, whatever miraculous powers he does or doesn't have, he is a threat to peace. He's a brilliant speaker. He knows how to work the crowd, manipulate the people. You heard how he arrived in Jerusalem? On a donkey! Hundreds went out to meet him, all cheering him as their king. What do you say, Jesus? I find it difficult to believe what the priest says. For a powerful speaker, you say very little. Have you lost that? Lost your tongue? I'm bored with this. You bring me a, a man who you say is a threat to peace? A rabble rouser? A blasphemer? A magical worker. And he stands there looking pathetic. Are you sure you brought me the right man? Of course it's the right man. And he, an hour ago he was saying he's the son of God. He, he denies nothing. He admits everything we say about him. Then he is a madman. You, get him a coat and you, find him a crowd. If he wants to play the king, parade him in front of his followers. They'll soon lose their enthusiasm when they see what a feeble-minded man he is. I've spent enough time with him. Take him back to Pilate. You'll need to persuade him if you want him dead. Oh, 
you be? Hiding. Where's all the others? Well, hiding. I should think. How should I know? Where are they taking you now? Back to pilot. Calm down, Peter. There's no point in getting into a state. My son needs you more than ever. But he said, forgive 70 times 7. But no, no, she's right, Peter. Jesus would forgive him and remember well, he was a good friend to us all. Thank <laughs> you.